Hello and welcome to the 10th uh, video in the PDO uh, video tutorial series. Uh, my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about um, the PDO method last insert ID uh, as shown here. Okay, It's kind of an important one um, to think about, and a very, very simple one to use. Um, you obviously have to know how to use the rest of the PDO to be able to use it, therefore that's why um, the reason I'm doing it as the 10th video. Um, so we've already got our connection set up as you've learned in the previous video tutorials and if you haven't skip back one and you'll see how it's done uh, or just copy it there. Um, okay so we've got our small little database set up of users um, with just a simple name so we're going to insert another another user into the database okay um, very very simple okay so let's go ahead and do it let's add one more person in um, so what we want to do is have a, a statement first a PDO statement as we know um, the PDO object when we use prepare returns a, a PDO statement now uh, I'm hoping you know um, how to write an insert statement um, so insert into uh, users is the table uh, and we're going to just insert then the name that's all we want we're going to say values and in this scenario we're just going to use the question mark uh, nice and simple and let's put an equal sign there as well and then we're going to bind the, the value as well and we'll say okay it's question mark number one and the value is going to be Fred Flintstone Flintstone. Flintstone. That's better. If I spelled that wrong, let me know. Um, yeah, Flintstone. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So there we go. We're, we're binding um, the value for the Flintstone to this question mark. All right. And once we've done that, then we're going to say SMT then executes. Now, as long as we get past this SMT execute, we know that. Um, the, the query went through fine um, but we want to now know what the last inserted ID was or the last uh, the, um, number which the primary key has um, and so on so we want to be able to extract it so ID is equal to this and we have to go all the way to the PDO object here to be able to retrieve it and it's nothing more than last insert ID now it, it does also take one argument for the sake if you're using PDO with MySQL uh, on a Linux server and so on then let's just ignore it okay because we know that it works we know it's fine and that other argument is for other drivers and so on so just forget it for now okay so we now we have the ID returned and this will then return the ID of the next inserted primary key okay so we'll just echo out the um, ID was ID for yeah that'll do uh, nice and simple we come here and we'll refresh this and the ID was eight come here refresh this okay and as you can see eight that's it um, there's nothing really more to say about it than that uh, it's just the fact that it returns the last inserted ID so if you do do um, in inserts and you want to retrieve the ID for it you then don't have to go on and then do another call to check for this one um, this one person I mean it, it was also there um, in MySQL as well I mean the the uh, it was then MySQL insert insert ID it was mysql underscore insert ID so it's been such a long time that I've used these mysql functions um, you used to call mysql insert ID you used to then return um, the ID that was last inserted okay um, that's it it's as easy as that nothing really more to say my name is David Thorne Thorne Web Design like subscribe thumbs up comment share do whatever you want I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something okay have a nice evening goodbye